I'm filming downstairs because it's really, really hot. It's literally 28 degrees and my room is too warm to film in. So I've come down to my kitchen. Hello everyone. It's been, <laughs> it's been a while, I know. It's been two years since I last uploaded a video. Today, I kind of just wanted to explain um, everything, I guess. Um, I also want to tell you guys about my YouTube story journey. I don't know. I don't know what to call it, to be honest. I kind of just want to explain like how I started making videos, how long I've been doing it for, and just everything like that. I actually don't know where to start, to be honest. Um, I started watching YouTube probably when I was like 10, maybe. Um, I literally just used YouTube to watch music videos. That's all I really did, to be honest. Then when I was 12, I discovered the YouTuber BeautyBaby44. Her name's Lindsay. Um, and she was the first YouTuber I ever watched. Um, I loved her videos. I'd never seen anything like it. And like my 12 year old self was just fascinated by like the video she was making. I've decided to come upstairs because I kept getting interrupted. So I'm just gonna, you know, deal with the heat and just sit here and sweat. So yeah, like I said, um, she was the first YouTuber I ever watched and she really opened my eyes to what YouTube actually was. It was more than just a place where people uploaded music videos and some weird cat videos. From then I discovered more YouTubers and I started watching so many videos um, and I just loved it. I loved it so much, watching all the beauty gurus and at that point I was only 12 so I literally knew nothing about makeup or anything like that um, and it really helped me a lot and I just loved YouTube. So when I was 13 I made up a channel. Um, I got a YouTube account and you know I subscribed to my favorite YouTubers and I decided to film a video. I loved YouTube at that point. I remember none of my videos were very good. They were all filmed on my iPod Touch, like in ver they're all vertical as well. And it was just really funny. And then a couple of months into it, um, people at school found my channel. Uh, you know, they, I think it was a couple of girls who found it uh, first and they were at sleepover or something. Um, and you know, the next, like when I went back to school Monday, they came up to me and were like, Oh yeah, we we found your YouTube video. We found your YouTube channel, and I was I didn't really know what to think. I'm if you know me in real life, you know that I'm quite shy. Um, what well, I have been for a, the longest time, but when I'm really close to people and like my closest friends and family, like I'm not shy at all. So it's really funny. I, it takes me a while to like get comfortable with people. All you want to do when you're younger is fit in and. Back then, I didn't know anyone who did YouTube at all. Um, I didn't really know. I didn't follow any British YouTubers. I didn't even know they existed at that point. So for me, it just felt like it was a very American thing. I don't really know why. I ended up deleting my channel, to be honest. And although I still have access to the channel, all my videos are gone. I just got really scared and that was it, really. And then when I turned 14, uh, I think it was in August of 2014, actually. I started this channel, this channel that you're currently watching this video on um, and that I still, I guess, upload to till today. Um, and at that point, nobody knew about the channel um, apart from my family and that was it. I didn't tell anyone about it. Like I said, like before, I just wanted to keep it a secret. I vlogged for quite a bit. I vlogged my holidays, just like silly little things like my school life, like homework. Um, and like I said, I was just having fun with it. I loved YouTube so much. I loved filming. I loved, I loved editing and everything. And um, I did that for a couple of months and I stopped just because I, I feel like doing YouTube and school at the same time is, is hard. Um, and I give credit to all the people that do it because personally, I, well, I didn't manage to be consistent with it. It's hard because it's a lot of work. The following year, when I turned 15, I then started uploading again. These were very, very different videos. For once, I was, I think I edited my videos before, my vlogs, but I never properly did it. I didn't make thumbnails, didn't do like an end slate, anything like that. This time round, I really made an effort with it. When I was 15 and I was filming, 
um, I was properly editing and I was actually commenting on other people's videos and I was getting in contact with people and I actually started gaining say an audience I, I think I had like 20 subscribers at that point or something um, and I did that for a couple of months but I loved it so much I think that's one of the times where I really really enjoyed doing it I was in contact with so many different people there was a girl who we used to comment constantly on each other's videos and she was from Australia I was talking to people from different countries and I loved it more people from my school found my channel um, I don't know how they found it, I'm not really sure, um, but it was people who hadn't previously found my channel, it was like some other guys, and they messaged me, I think, saying, oh, we found your channel, don't worry, we'll keep it a secret, and I just panicked again, so I ended up putting all my videos on private and just pretending like it never happened. You'll notice a repetitive theme to this, but a few months went by and I was 16 at this point, so every year I've done YouTube really except from when I was 17. I was 16 it was May I think this time round and I was like you know what I have a complete like, I had a completely different mindset at that point I was like I want to make videos because I love making them. From this time round I told all of my closest like my closest group of friends I told them all about my channel. I started gaining more people watching um, and that's how many subscribers I got up to now so I'm like on 50 subscribers as I'm filming this I honestly don't know who's gonna be watching this let alone if anyone's gonna be watching it to be honest and I just stopped filming for one reason or another I just wasn't really happy with what I was creating and within those two years from when I was 16 to now because I'm 18 now I've tried to come back several times for one reason or another it hasn't happened you know I filmed I don't know how many videos I filmed in these two years it's quite a lot I love YouTube so much. It's been a part of my life since I was, well, it's been a big part of my life since I was 12 um, and I've been making videos since I was 13. So for me, although I've not been consistent, I always gravitate back to being a creator. Like every day I watch YouTube, um, I watch so many YouTube videos and I'm subscribed to so many people. It's actually really bad how many people I subscribe to. But I just gravitate every t single time I stop, I'll end up gravitating back to filming again. And I think the problem I have is I panic. For the past two weeks, I've really been working on my YouTube channel. Um, I filmed, I think, now four videos, I think, now, which I have edited all of them. Um, and I've shown a couple of people them. Yeah, like, I've been working for two weeks on it. Um... You know, I'm no longer in education anymore, I left school, I just, I've literally just done my A-levels. And I'm a, a very creative person, I've always done creative subjects, and I really needed to put my creative energy into something, and this is what I've been doing for the past two weeks. You know, I've kind of given my channel a revamp, I guess you could say. Over the past two weeks I've been filming really different stuff that I'd never done before, and I've really been enjoying it, actually. set myself a goal, well I set myself a couple of goals, but one of them is to upload a video at least once a week for the rest of the year, of course, I continue after that, but I feel like I need to, I need to actually set myself a goal because I'm more likely gonna do it. Because I want to be consistent on YouTube, and because I love it so much, and it's always so hard to come back once you stop. Once you stop, it's so hard to start again. I do I genuinely love making videos? I just I don't know what it is, um, because it does take. A, a fair few hours to edit and stuff but I just love doing it. My plan at the moment, like I said, I want to upload at least one video a week, however I'm slightly striving to do two. I'm thinking on a Wednesday and a Saturday. So yeah, that's that's my YouTube story, I guess. And so yeah, um, that's all I really have to say. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and honestly I don't know who's watched this and even if someone's watched it, I don't know if you got this far. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on Saturday I guess. Bye.